Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about the medicinal plants reported so far from Loktak Lake. This is the second part. Uh, the previous one uh, or the first part was uploaded. And today we will be talking about the second part or the continuation of the plants that have been uh, reported as medicinal plants uh, from Loktak Lake. So this is a uh, research perspective so that people can understand more uh, by watching this video. So this is the references that I have uh, taken from. You can go to the reference, uh, references given here. So this is uh, the Cynodal Dactylon. Uh, this is from the family poesy and the decoction of the plant or the stolen is taken uh, mixed with honey and it is used to treat strangury so when we say strangury uh, it is a condition where a person uh, have a problem in urinating uh, especially uh, when he, he or she has a real urge to urinate but uh, uh, he or she has a strong pain in the bladder that is a condition uh, and it is termed as strangury so it is used in that condition and the other uh, thing is the stolen when it is boiled and the hot stolen when it is chewed it can reduce uh, dysmenorrhea or in other words you can say the uh, abdominal cramp during uh, menstrual periods so in that condition the stolen hot stolen can be chewed and uh, it reduces the abdominal cramps uh, in that condition so the next plant here is cypress haspen uh, the tuber is edible it is slightly sweet and the rhizome uh, paste uh, is mixed with honey and it is used to treat fever and bronchitis so you have to take it orally and the, another thing is the boiled tuber can be normally consumed and it helps uh, in the diabetes so the next plant is Dramaria cordata. So in this case, uh, the hot plant extract is applied as a poultice. Uh, so this means that uh, the plant is uh, boiled and the hot plant leaf or leaf uh, extract, it is, uh, you know, applied on the pain uh, area. So that way it reduces the muscular sprains and the plant extract is also mixed with honey and uh, it is taken and it is uh, it helps to treat cough and dysentery. So the next plant is Eclipta alba. So the plant here uh, is mixed with charcoal and applied to, uh, to treat toothache. And the leaf extract is again mixed with honey and it can be taken to treat cold and fever. So uh, this is anhyd anhydra fluctuans. So uh, it is cooked and uh, it is cooked with very less water and taken. So it helps to treat calculus. Uh, and other urinary problems. So it is like the formation of uh, stone in the bladder. So it is uh, very important and it is also used as an antidote uh, against food poisoning. So they can normally be taken uh, as a you know cooked vegetable so the plant is then mixed with mustard oil and this is uh, applied externally 
so that ways it can help to treat uh, scabies skin diseases so this is uh, one of the uh, medicinal uses apart from this the boiled plant can be consumed and uh, it helps to treat uh, diabetes the next point is the plant decoction is taken and it helps to treat diarrhea dysentery so uh, then that these are the medicinal uses for anhydrofluctuants uh, i think the food poisoning is being repeated here so about the plant ecosystem debile it has been reported that the boiled plant is consumed and it helps to treat dropsy and hysteria so dropsy is, is it is a condition where there is a fluid retention in the body and hysteria is a kind of emotional uh, disorder where where a person uh, has an intense uh, you know emotion when he laughs uh, he keeps on laughing and he keeps on uh, you know crying or shows any other in, uh, emotions so that is a condition so in that condition this plant can be useful uh, they can be consumed and the plant is also consumed where there is a problem of hematuria so hematuria is a condition where where there is a, a blood uh, cells uh, detected in the urine so in that condition also the boiled plant is consumed so again the boiled plant mixed with the plant uh, or the bark of uh, terminalia urgina and zalpenia palterima so the mixed plant uh, boiled together uh, and uh, this extract is externally externally applied uh, to treat backache rheumatic pain and uh, sciatica so sciatica is again uh, it is a nervous system problem so all in these cases the, uh, the three plants that is mentioned here they are mixed together and boiled and the uh, uh, extract uh, out of it is applied externally so the next point about this plant is it is boiled with the root of papaya and it is uh, consumed uh, to treat diabetes so this is another medicinal uses mentioned uh, in this report so let's talk about erangium fertidum so the plant is consumed uh, or the paste is externally applied in rheumatic pains which uh, also means that uh, even is consuming the plant orally can help to reduce the rheumatic pains so the plant mixed with allium sativum so uh, and then allium escalonicum or allium sepa and the root of plantago erosa so these plants when mixed uh, and the paste is applied so it reduces the muscular sprains and body pain so this is another way of uh, reducing the muscular pain so erangium fortidum plant where, uh, when it is boiled and mixed with sugar and consume so in that ways it can help to treat kidney stone problems uh, again another uh, uses is the plant uh, the leaf of this erangium fertidum and the inflorescence of elsozia blanda boiled along with salt and uh, the decoction of these plants uh, with salt it is it, uh, it is used in gargling and this way it can help to reduce tonsillitis so the leaf of erangium foetidum again mixed with the bulk of allium sativum and some fermented fish uh, and consume so it, it can help to reduce the high blood pressure 
So the plant mixed with the rhizome of gingiver of vicinelli uh, or the ginger and the bulb of allium sativum and the seeds of brassica gensia. So uh, when they are mixed with fermented fish, crushed together, and then uh, this paste can help uh, to massage, uh, and this way it can treat paralysis. So again, the plant is mixed with other vegetable and consumed. So uh, these can help in reducing epilepsy and paralysis. So these are some of the important uh, medicinal uses of some selected uh, plants from the reported, uh, you know, medicinal uh, values of specific plants from the Loftak Lake. And you can consider uh, checking out the references if you want in detail. Thank you.